everyone and welcome to my channel today we are going to chat about something that's very exciting to me and that is my first fragrance haul of the year and my first fragrance haul ever <laughs> so i'm going to chat about six fragrances that i've picked up in january and february this year two of those scents are celebrity scents and two are designers I also recently picked up some Zara perfumes and I will do a haul on that next week so keep your eyes open for that but before we get started guys as always you know I am blind so if things are out of focus you know why also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like perfume related content and to hit the like button it really helps my channel to grow and for you those of you who are returning subscribers thank you so so much for supporting me i really appreciate it and i really appreciate each and every kind comment that i receive on my videos thank you so much for that guys so before we get started, I had some inquiries about my candle here in the background that sounds like a little fireplace. Um, you can find it on Take A Lot. Um, it's, it has a wood wick, so if you just enter in the search bar wood wick, you will see it. It's the Crimson Berries Hourglass Candle. It's a bit misleading because it doesn't smell like berries at all i've said before it smells to me like a chai latte apparently the the what they were going for were christmas berries so i don't know what that smells like but if it smells like chai tea then they are absolutely correct okay guys so with, uh, without further ado let's start with the video i will leave my epic fail for last <laughs> okay so once again we have the trusted box um, so, so first up and this is not in the box and i've tried all these fragrances already guys it's not a first impressions so this is i think a very well known fragrance it's britney spears midnight fantasy and let me read you the notes first um it's a fruity floral fragrance. In the top, there's plum, sour cherry, and raspberry. The hot notes are orchid, iris, and freesia. And in the base, there's vanilla, amber, and musk. So this is, you know, I like to refer to fragrances in terms of thinness or thickness or high notes or low notes. And for me, this is a thin, high note perfume, but very, very nice very very nice it smells almost candy like to me um whew. it's so hard in this one to pinpoint the different notes but you definitely get this fruity very much fruity um smell it's a very girly very fun not taking itself too seriously kind of perfume like i say sweet but fun and not particularly sexy, but just girly and innocent, I would say. That is Britney Spears' Midnight Fantasy. Let me know what you think of this one, if you have it. The next one um, is also not a new perfume at all. And this is Jessica Simpson's fancy i'm gonna open the box it's not the first time like i've said just thought since it is a haul let me just show you the box and there is the fragrance let me read you the notes um just have to find my place you know my braille notes are here on my lap so this has been released in 2008 and it's an amber floral no not floral my goodness, where am I? <laughs> Amber vanilla fragrance. In the top, there's apricot, pear, red berries. In the middle, there's caramel, almond, gardenia, and jasmine. And in the base, there's vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. This one 
is a very very nice fragrance if you smell it out of the bottle and even if you spray it if you spray it you get this very sweet apricot smell very sweet um and it's very bright that apricot give it this very brightness you know but on my skin it does something that is not very nice it becomes very um shampooy and screechy and it just doesn't smell it smells oh, it doesn't smell soft it's not harsh on my skin um please let me know if you've got this experience as well so i'm definitely keeping it because what i find and actually one of um one of you guys i think it was liani said that she likes to wear this um to bed and this is very nice nice if i spray it on my um on my pajamas it really it 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 really becomes harsh on my skin so i should avoid that so i will only use it for bedtime it's very nice you get that nice bright apricot and then it dries down to this very sweet caramel caramel fragrance um intermix intermingled with that apricot so that is jessica simpson's fancy the next one is not new to my channel but it's a repurchase guys i'm so excited about this um finally 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 i have a hundred mil of jessica ah jessica of victor and rolf's flower bomb look at the box I, it feels so nice that um texture on the i don't know if you can see it this box is so flimsy i don't know it arrived like this there you go <laughs> i'm so excited like you know i had a 20 mil and i ran through it in six months time and finally 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 i have the 100 mil you guys know how i feel about it i almost stuck that in my nose you know how I feel about this fragrance. It is nothing new um, to anyone. This is a tea vanilla fragrance. I don't get why they said it's a flower bomb. It smells very sweet. That is the main thing I get. It's just that very soft feminine sweetness. Um, to me, it smells almost edible. Uh, let me read you the notes again in the top this bergamot tea osmanthus in the mid this jasmine african orange flower freesia rose and orchid so a lot of flowers there and in the base this patchouli musk and vanilla i also i think i said it before but i also get a peachiness and i think it's from the osmanthus it must be it's i love osmanthus or at least all fragrances that has osmanthus in not all probably but all that i've smelled appeals to me so yeah um guys i'm also thinking of doing a video on my 30 ml perfume collection and to discuss which ones i think will be 100 ml worthy so please let me know if that is something that you would be interested in so this is my beloved never to leave my life victor and rolf flower bomb welcome back um then yeah before i actually talk about this one or show it let me just say guys there's a lot of mixed reviews on this one that i'm going to talk about on um on youtube um a lot of people say it smells generic I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that, yes, I, I also find it generic. I don't. I absolutely adore this fragrance. Um, I blind bought it, by the way. And this is Juicy Couture Gold Couture. Let me just see what side this should be. Yeah, that's right. So this is the box. You can see it um this is the bottle i'm even shaking a bit because this one i love it so much i can't wait to talk about it um this is the bottle 
some people say it's tacky some people say it's very nice but it's got that bow and also that texture it's a textured feeling there on the bottle um guys let me first read you the note before i start to gush um so it was released in 2014. It's a floral, fruity gourmand. In the top, there's wild berries. In the mid, there's honeysuckle and jasmine sandbag. And in the base, there's caramel, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. I'm starting to realize that I adore caramel. Well, I adore to eat it. I love to eat it, but I adore the smell of it. Okay, so where to begin? Hmm. That's first what it smells like. Um, so if you don't like sweet perfumes, if you are a bit um, yeah, squeamish about sweet perfumes, this is not this is not for you. This is an extremely sweet perfume. Um, so it smells like I'm actually gonna smell it on myself, I can't resist. Um oh. You just get this burst and all that I can say is of caramel. I just smell sweet, sweet caramel. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. So when I first sprayed it on myself, I was like, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's nice enough, you know. And then I walked through the house and I, you know, when your trail catches up with you. So I walked. Then I stopped and I sniffed and I walked and then I stopped just to smell this perfume and I kept on doing that. It was divine. I don't really get the berries that they talk of. I just smell caramel and honey, that honeysuckle. Um, it, it smells a lot like Jessica Simpson's Fancy but without the, the apricot and definitely without the harshness. Um, so, for me, this is the softest, subtlest, effortless sexiness that you can find. It's, a lot of people say it's very juvenile. I do get that, probably because it's so sweet. But, you know what comes to mind for me when I smell this perfume? I think of this woman... She, she's not dressed particularly sexily. It's not like she seems like she made too much effort. She perhaps has her loose mom jeans on with a, with a sweater. And she go and drop her children at school. She goes to work. She's got all her things together. All her ducks in a row. And she is just undeniably sexy without trying. She's not, she's not Carolina Herrera's good girl, if I can put it like that. She's not the one with the stilettos and the, you know, the low top, so to speak. No, she is effortlessly dressed, effortlessly sexy. This is what it is for me, this one. I want... I wish I could wash my clothes in this so that all my clothes would have this very nice soft smell. Yeah. I said to my sister last week, she can blind buy this perfume. I will buy it from her if she doesn't like it. That's how much I love it. And I've got a feeling I've spoken about it a lot now. Um I've, I've posted a quote on my Facebook page um, and that quote says that perfume makes silence talk. Isn't that so? Make silence speak. I can't remember. I never know the difference between the two. But um, the, yeah, that image that comes to mind for me, that is, that is making silence talk. You know, I am, you know, just this woman who is so sexy without trying 
anyway i will go through liters of this because i love it so much and also because it doesn't last long that's the only grievance i have it doesn't last long it doesn't project well but that's okay i will reapply i love it so much right so the next one before we get to my epic file is this one i don't know if you can see it um let me just move things out of the way here um so, so this is narciso rodriguez rouge don't know if the, bo the box should be this side, if you can see, or this side. Right, so let me just show you. You all know I love a gift set. And this, I got 15% discount on the ARC store. And you can see there's a shower gel, there's a 50ml EDP, and there's a body lotion. And I think it was about 1,500 Rand, which I didn't think was too bad for all these things that you get. I'm going to take this out. Isn't this such a nice bottle? I love the feel of, um, let me just feel where's the writing so that I know. Okay. Um, I love the feel of this wooden lid. Um, I'm so glad about this, you guys, because I know I'm going to step on a lot of toes here but i i struggle with narcissa rodriguez because i can't do so much musk i just i just can't um but this one is not a musky perfume um let me read you the notes um so in the top this iris bulgarian rose and in the mid this musk orange orange blossom and tuberose and in the base this tonka bean vanilla white cedar extract cedar sandalwood and vetiver so this one i actually saw on alethea marie's channel i will link her channel down below if i if i remember um so but and then my sister also said to me that she she likes this fragrance and I was like okay well let me smell it then this is femininity in a bottle it's not sexy feminine like Juicy Couture it is just undeniably femininity in a bottle it is sweet it smells like eyeshadow or I can understand why they say rouge because it does smell like like blusher you know blusher or eyeshadow it's got this powdery quality I'm just I'm just thinking of a friend of mine she hates powdery scents and I can just imagine her rolling her eyes when I say when I talk about this one um, I will not recommend it to her for example but I I didn't think that I would like something that smells like eyeshadow or blusher but i do i do love this one so much i will i've fallen in love with this one it is beautiful you guys it is sweet eyeshadowy um and that's all that i can say about it i think that says it all um please go and smell it and let me know what you think of it or let me know whether you have it whether you like it and whether you also think it's just femininity in a bottle it's not very long lasting, unfortunately, but um, that's okay. I also find that fragrances don't last long on me. So I don't hold it against a fragrance because sometimes it's just, it's sometimes just me. It's not them, it's me. So yeah. So the last one, you guys, oh, it was such a disappointment and I will tell you why. This is... Gucci by Gucci. Um, let me just open it. So this is the 30 ml bottle. Um, I think it, I don't know if it looks cute, but it, it feels cute with this that thingy there. Um, 
Let me first read you the note before I start to complain and moan and all the rest. Um, so, in the top there is guava and pear, in the mid there is tiari flower and in the base there is patchouli, honey and musk. So, with this one I added it as a signature scent. I think it was in 2009 or 2010 and I loved it and I went back to the pharmacy where I bought it and I'm sure they told me it was discontinued and I was so so sad about it um, and I don't know do you guys know whether it's been discontinued um, yeah but then I saw it on take a lot and I was like oh my goodness I'm gonna reunite with an old love and it arrived and I sprayed it on my skin it turned so masculine so masculine that my husband and I we agreed no this must be a mistake this is probably Gucci for men you know and he took it but the next morning when he opened the bottle he said okay no 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 this is a woman's fragrance so I tried it again um I smell the guava I do perhaps I've got a problem with that I don't know um but it just smells to me, I'm sorry if you guys love it, but it, smell, it smells fresh and it smells flowery and it smells a bit mature. I don't like it at all. It's a mature floral. Oh, no, 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 no. I think perhaps I don't like guava. That might be it, but... It wasn't like that and it is now like that unfortunately I don't think it's gonna stay I mean you know what I thought with this perfume what it remind not reminds me of but what image come to mind is when you remember that guy in your high school years that guy that was the light of your life he had the most interesting he was the most interesting conversation you know he he um was the captain of the rugby team he was just you know he was just it and then 20 years later or 30 years later you go to your reunion and you're like what was i thinking um you know he is the most boring conversation ever he doesn't look Good, and you think to yourself I dodged a bullet there so this one <laughs> for me is yeah all that I could say is it must have been love but boy is it over now so yeah that is Gucci by Gucci so just to recap you guys this is Gucci it smells very florally mature to me my old and beloved and never to part and leave my life um, flower bomb um, Jessica Simpson's fancy that I will only wear at night time because it's too harsh on my skin Viva La Juicy absolute my favorite of today um, caramel goodness soft sexiness in a bottle Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears very girly very fun flirty scent and do we have another one am i yeah sorry it is here on the trail already my narcissa rodriguez rouge edp femininity in a bottle okay guys that is that for today thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next week when i talk about my zara fragrances goodbye